let's meet our first contestant. He's an unemployed rocket mechanic who claims to have saved two galaxies, but most people know him as Secret Agent Clang's bumbling chauffeur. He hopes that disguising himself as a tyranoid will make him more attractive to the ladies. Hey, give a warm welcome to Ratchet! Ratchet will attempt to be the first contestant ever to survive the Death Force. Contestant number one, are you ready? Bring it on!
little eyes. He's got that thousand yard stare. Sasha, that is Ratchet. Oh, I see you won the terror guys. It's very convincing. Anyway, there's something I think the two of you need to see. Work personal log entry 101301. After I personally vanquished the protopet menace and revamped the Megacorp testing facility, I decided to focus my efforts on protecting the endangered creatures of the Florana jungle. But when news arrived that Dr. Nefarious had again risen to power, I knew where my true destiny lay. The training necessary to get back into tip-top shape has been exhausting. 
and my mind overflows with brilliant concepts. Though I still yearn for the bittersweet stench of my simian companions. <sighs> the time has come to resume my duties as the greatest hero the galaxy has ever known! Captain Quark! You're not gonna believe this. But the President put Quark in charge of the fight against Nefarious. Our new commander just called his first team meeting. You better get back to the Phoenix right away. I agree. This does not sound good. Gentlemen, oh, and Helga, welcome to the Q Force. You have been assembled here because each of you is an expert in your particular field. From Al's mastery of electronics to Skid's nerves of steel hey! to Helga's sensual powers of seduction. Each of you has shown that you are worthy to wear the Q. Years ago, I single-handedly defeated Dr. Nefarious, but like a rash on the galaxy's backside, he has flared up again. Our first mission will be to infiltrate the Doctor's top secret base on planet Aquatos. Impossible, you say? Perhaps for a lesser strategist? Behold, my brilliant plan! First, Ratchet and Clank will descend to the sea floor and wade through a series of tunnels flooded with waist-high raw sewage. What? Please hold your questions until the end of the presentation. After infiltrating the base, our agents will split up. Clank will enter the base's ventilation system where he will locate and deploy this banana-guided autonomous monkey device. Or, the GAMD. <laughs> Meanwhile, Ratchet will use his extensive knowledge of the Tyranoid language and customs to win the trust of the bloodthirsty alien guards. Finally, our agents will make their way to Nefarious's personal office, steal everything that isn't nailed down, and exfiltrate the base completely undetected. That's crazy! But it just might work. Aye, sir. You're in second watch tonight. Negative. Get quick, I'm busy. Chinese fire drill. Let's go. Chop, chop. Yeah, when I get a minute. Ahem, <clears throat> Skid. Sorry, I'm busy. Call up the archives on Dr. Nefarious. I want to know who we're up against. Not gonna happen, dude. Lord Paul, the answer is no! 
Jet, I urgently need to know how the Quark vs. Nefarious vidcomic series ends. When are you going to play your new comic? If anybody finds a Star Master scientific calculator, please contact Lost and Found. Quark, comic episode two, Ariba Amoeba. A new evil was gathering in the shadowy swamps of Blackwater City. A horrific breed of monsters known as Amoeboids, born in the laboratories of a twisted scientist named Dr. Nefarious. To think, they called me insane, Lawrence. We'll see who's insane when my pets have exterminated all life on this miserable planet! Well, that should clear things right up, sir. When Captain Quark encountered the Amoeboids for the first time, he immediately executed emergency response plan number two. Hey, wait just a minute. Quark then proceeded to stall for time while he coordinated the city's defenses from the women's restroom at Galaxy Burger. Give me that thing, you lying no good. Oof! Right. Now, where were we? From the moment I touched down, I knew the situation called for a head-on assault. Without hesitation, I rushed to do heroic battle with the monstrous amoeboid horde. For the fancy stuff. Press X while I'm in the air near a wall to see my awesome wall kick move. Barbecue time! <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
His amoeboid army defeated, Dr. Nefarious had no choice but to flee Blackwater City in disgrace. You've not seen the last of me! I will have my vengeance if it takes a thousand years! <laughs> Dr. Nefarious was right about one thing. He and Quark would meet again, and sooner than he realized. For a true hero like Captain Quark will stop at nothing in the name of justice. <laughs> what? I held my breath! Thank <laughs> you. 
Excuse me? I'm trying to make a picture here, and Mr. Big Shot Star is nowhere to be found. I am currently occupied with a mission of galactic security. Right, right. I get it. You want a bigger trailer? Done. You want a daily oil massage? 
Done. I need my star on the set pronto, capiche? Uh, you're, uh, breaking up. You know, I can see you, weasel boy. Oh, yeah? How about now? He'll figure something out. We've got work to do. doing here? My code name is Shadow Dude, bro. Black Ops are my especiality. I figured you guys could use my help. Uh, thanks, Shadow Dude, but I think we've got this one covered. All right, I'll just take my hacker and go back to the ship. Hacker? Oh, well, you know, on second thought, I think we'd like you to join the mission, Shadow Dude. Awesome! This is gonna be sick! Crate multiplies all bolts and experience gained for a limited time. Have you? Press 
square to dive and X to rise. Press harder to dive or rise faster. Your helmet will provide oxygen, at least in theory. down there. My scanners show a huge biomass moving toward you down the drain pipe. And upgrade features a lock on mod. To lock on to enemies, press and hold L2 and R2.
hear that? We are not alone. Hey, uh, dudes, I uh, forgot to feed my goldfish. I'll see you back at the... Ah! Well, if it ain't two of my best customers. Slim Cognito? What are you doing down here? I had a small run-in with the cops concerning a suck cannon upgrade that was mistakenly sold to a miner. I swear the kid looked 18. Anyway, I needed to find a less conspicuous place to do business. I take it you two are still in the market? Well, let's see what you've got. <laughs> 